Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you a video going over all the 10.0.7 changes that are going to be released today. And there are some good ones. So with that said, let's jump right into the video. Starting off with Shadow's Gift, they buffed it by 20%. And then the person that you heal, the initial heal with, not the AoE heal, uh, gets affected by mastery. So that's really good. It, that wor will work with Essence Font too, which is really, it's going to be good. It's going to be a huge heal, which is fantastic. Uh, they also made it so that the stacks of your Shailun's Gift get dropped when you start a raid boss or a Mythic Plus boss, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, it was nice going into a dungeon boss, having 10 stacks of Shailun's Gift, but I mean, I get it, but... A little bit unfortunate. I don't know if that's an. It's probably. It's, I mean, it feels like a nerf because you're gonna have to revamp, re ramp up those stacks when you're in the middle of the boss fight. And then they made some really cool changes for the talent. So the first thing they did was, well, they set another nerf. Less than a fear, uh, right? Decreases the damage you take by 15% and then increases your haste by 20%. It was nerfed from 25% to 20%. So just keep that in mind. A little bit of a haste nerf to less than a fear, but overall not too bad. And then <clears throat> they made a buff for you to see what your next shell house lesson uh, buff is going to be so right now on live it's just really annoying to kind of plan around your shaylun's gift because you don't know what buff you're going to get um but they change it so you get a buff right here so the next shaylun's gift i cast uh will give me less of doubt so if i do a shaylun's gift here let's just see how much healing it does i really just want to know so that shaylun's gift healed for one hundred fifty-four thousand. um i get the lesson of doubt and then my next buff is going to give me less of anger which is crazy. So this this is a really, really good like quality of life change. It's just nice being able to plan ahead rather than have it be RNG between the four buffs. Um, and then I think the final change they made to Shailun's Gift is Legacy of Wisdom. So this is a new talent uh, in 10.0.7. Uh, Shailun's Gift heals two additional allies and its cast time reduced by 0.5 seconds. I think on live right now, it's two seconds. And then with haste, I have, I want to say it's maybe 1.7 second cast. So this makes it a, what, a 1.2 second cast? I have no idea. I don't have the add-ons up, but... Oh, wait. No, I can see, right? 1.4 second cast, and I don't know if this character has much haste. 8% haste, but if I go... Do I have all my gear? So if I go with my PvE set, and I have 25% haste, it makes a 1.2 second cast. Look at how fast that Shaylin's Gift is. That's so good. That is so freaking good. I love it. Um, so those are some pretty good Shaylin's Gift changes. I, it hasn't been used too often in PvP. In PvE, I think it is used a lot. In PvP, we just started using it kind of with a haste build. But overall, I think these changes are good. I don't know if this extra talent is worth it in PvP. I think in Mythic Plus and Raiding, this will be worth it just because it's really RNG who the Shaylin's Gift heals because sometimes someone's dying and doesn't heal them. Um, but I, I don't think in PvP you're going to use Legacy of Wisdom. They also made it so Envelopment Mist is instant when you cast it with Thunder Focus T. So right now on live, what Thunder Focus T does with Envelopment Mist is it just instantly heals for 33,000. But now in 10.0.7, you can Thunder Focus T... Boom. Envelopment Mist. Which is awesome. This is really... I think this is going to be really, really good for Fist Weaving. Whether it's PvP, PvE, it doesn't matter. Because the only time I really cast is when I'm using an Envelopment Mist on somebody with Soothing Mist. So this is going to be really, really good for when someone's in a situation where they're kind of low. You just got to Thunder Focus the Envelopment Mist because it still has that initial heal that it has. And then it's just instant. So this is going to be able to keep you in the fight longer. Zen Pulse no longer requires someone to be around you for it to activate. So right now on live, you need somebody to be, I don't even know, within 8 yards, I think. 8 or 10 yards of your target for it to heal. But you don't need that anymore. So I could be in the middle of nowhere. No one's near me. And I could just finally just use Zen Pulse. This was really annoying. It's also affected by Mastery, which is nice. Um... But this is a really good quality of life change as well. Because there are sometimes I'll try to use impulse on somebody. And they're just they're like barely out of range of an enemy. And it just won't heal. And it's so annoying. I don't know. Zen pulse is really good versus Beast Basher Hunters and Demo Warlocks and PvP. I know that's used in PvE as well. So this could be good. Except I don't think in PvE there's usually somebody by themselves. But in PvP this is a really good change. I, I like this a lot. They made some changes to Chiji and Yulon as well. So they renamed this talent right here to Celestial Harmony, and it does pretty much the same thing. It, you know, it'll put, a, when you use your Yulon or Chiji and use Envelopment Mist on your target, it'll put a hot that will heal the target and then also increase the healing from you by 10%. But what also this does is when you activate Yulon and Chiji, you put little mini life cocoons on people, which are so cool. So this kind of helps with, it, it is, uh, you know, on the GCD, so it is a little bit awkward, but you press U, uh, Yulon and you get mini you get little mini life cocoons that absorb 37,000 damage, which is cool. It I think it's five people. Let me see. Um, up to five targets. So really good for Mythic Plus. Re honestly, really good for Mythic Plus raids and PvP uh, RBGs as well. So that's pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. It's really good for PvP right before CC. And then 
you get the healing increase, which is really nice. And obviously from Mythic Plus, you get full value out of it because there's already five people in the group. So I like this change a lot. Very, very nice. Um, I, I got no complaints about it. Any any more healing, the better. Finally, we have some PvP changes as well. Some small ones, but actually they're, they're pretty good. They increase the healing of Restoral and Revival by 100%. 100 percent. so that's really really good you can see it right there healing increased by 100 percent. we're not in a raid so this is also good for mythic plus as well um and then they nerfed enveloping mist but they nerfed it because they buffed enveloping mist in the uh like the dungeons and section so dungeon to raid section so i think overall it's a net five percent buff um to enveloping mist which is great and then they but they changed the visual of <laughs> <laughs> our healing sphere look at that they they changed they, they completely changed the uh animation which is cool this is great it's too bad we don't use it anymore but this was a this is a really good animation right here i'm a fan of it um it's it, it, i just wish it was useful because obviously with the healing sphere you know triggering the um dispel effects you're just not going to use it anymore maybe for shadow priest but uh, definitely not worse affliction warlock so that is pretty much it those are all the changes for 10.0.7 from mystery monk if you have any questions at all please let me know i will probably be on the beta all day today just chilling so that's it for me hope it was a fantastic rest of the day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later